U.S. intelligence uh, confirms it's collecting the private messages of Internet users, but defends the move, claiming the mass surveillance was targeting only non-U.S. persons outside the country. Earlier, British and American papers reported that the U.S. was uh, tapping directly into the service of leading American Internet companies uh, getting access to personal emails, photos and documents. A leaked court order has become the first hard evidence of Washington's uh, sweeping data collection program. RT's Anastasia Churkina has more. After eye-popping news that America's National Security Agency has been collecting information on millions of customers of one of the country's biggest telecommunication providers, Verizon, further information of the extent of surveillance conducted by U.S. officials has leaked out. Nine major Internet companies, they include uh, Google, Facebook, Yahoo, Microsoft, Skype, YouTube, Apple, AOL, and PalTalk, have been used by the FBI and the National Security Agency to monitor photos, videos, emails, audio, and all other sorts of information tracking a sweeping scope of individuals' online activity. As reported by The Guardian and The Washington Post, a highly classified program dubbed PRISM accounts for almost one in seven intelligence reports made by the NSA to the U.S. President and Congress. Now, reports suggest that information gathered through this top-secret program was included in almost 1,500 articles last year, which were presented to the U.S. President in daily briefs. And, of course, this latest information underscores the sky skyrocketing extent of involvement of American officials in the personal lives of uh, unsuspecting common Americans. Uh, the National Security Agency, of course, is uh, traditionally understood to gather foreign intelligence. So this tracking of hundreds of millions of uh, American online accounts on U.S. territory through American companies is uh, certainly a revelation, to say the least. And uh, this is, of course, the first time that this prison program has been publicly brought to light. Uh, U.S. officials, in particular, members of Congress, aware of this program have been keeping quiet about the sweeping activity violating uh, the privacy of American citizens and uh, of course uh, all of this comes after a secret court order was obtained by the Guardian and uh, uploaded online this document revealed that uh, US telecom giant Verizon has been giving the NSA information on absolutely all of the phone calls being made within the United States as well as between the US and foreign countries making really the scope of this tracking system even wider than American territory and uh, not only has this been uh, including U.S. citizens, but also foreigners who live in the U.S. and use Verizon as a cell phone service provider. And uh, importantly, this is the first time that such information is revealed with Barack Obama as president of the U.S. Uh, according uh, to the secret court order, which was issued, as we know, in April and expires July 19th, phone calls of millions of Americans are being traced through Verizon, absolutely regardless of whether or not there's reason to suspect that subscribers uh, are involved in any criminal activity. And it's uh, also been disclosed that this operation has actually been ongoing since 2006 and renewed every three months. And uh, the information handed over by Verizon to officials includes the location data, length of the call, phone calls being made, the time of the calls, as well as unique identifiers. And it's important to note that the specific contents of the calls are not included in the information being obtained, uh, at least not yet. Eugene Puria, an activist for the civil rights organization Answer Coalition, says the scope of the surveillance might not only have domestic but also global implications. They can make a very, a very, very massive uh, database of millions of citizens of almost all of their activities, what they're doing. And there's quite a bit you can construct from knowing every single place you go every day, who you talk to and how long you talk to them. That can tell you quite a bit about someone's life. And this is being collected on millions and millions of citizens completely indiscriminately, which means there's a giant database of American citizens' activities on a daily basis that the government has under its control and is keeping under secret lock and key and we have no idea how they can use it and it can be used in many harmful ways. And there's a wide range of people around the world who could be affected by this. I mean, imagine something as simple as, say, your college in, uh, roommate was from Russia and you stay in contact and you continually talk to each other. That could be something that the government could decide uh, it, it creates some sort of pattern about you, given what happened in the Boston bombing. And then they could use that as a pretext to search your entire house. And so I think certainly that not only nationally, but internationally, we will see some concerns raised.